survey the general public, and pets are often considered to be family members. Does this mean veterinarians are your other family doctor? Even to veterinarians, the metaphor appears somewhat peculiar. And no, we can't recommend neutering your teen's new boyfriend. However, under the One World, One Health initiative, in modern medicine, the metaphor has a serious component. Animals and humans share many diseases. In fact, many of the pandemics that have ravaged mankind from bubonic plague to H1N1 influenza arose from contact with animals. Veterinarians in the provision of health care to animals are charged with monitoring and confining disease that may be transmissible to humans. Rabies prevention is perhaps the most obvious example, but it pales in importance to the many other health issues, from West Nile virus to E. coli infections. Veterinarians caring for food animals not only ensure wellness to pigs, chickens and cows, they are instrumental in ensuring food safety. Veterinarians are responsible for prudent drug use, deterring the potential for drug-resistant superbugs to the benefit of both humans and animals. Some veterinarians work in the scientific world, focused on vaccine production or other medical research. The provincial and federal government employ veterinarians to administer surveillance programs, ensuring products imported to Canada meet safety standards. In all of these roles, veterinarians are the passionate advocate for humane treatment of animals. So maybe vets are the other family doctor. And maybe, just maybe, we need to reconsider that neutering policy.